I'm back. I want to sing another song. So today we're going to sing a song called A Child's Prayer by Janice Cap Perry. I love this song. And you know what? I have a little sister named Elena. And when she was a little girl, this was her favorite song. So I always think about her when I sing it. And that makes me feel so good because I love her so much. Okay, what's so cool about this song is at the beginning of the song, the child singing it asks a question. Ooh, don't you love questions? I love questions because that's how we learn is by asking questions. So let's sing the first verse of the song and see if you can hear the question question that the song asks. Okay? All right, so it's okay if you don't know the song. Just listen and do what I do. And that's it. You'll learn it in no time, okay? Isn't that pretty? Keep waiting. Breathe. Heavenly Father, are you really there? And do you hear an answer? Some say that heaven is far away, but I feel it close around me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I remember now something that Jesus told disciples long ago. Suffer the children to come to me. Did you hear it? Did you hear the question? Hmm. Are you shouting it at the TV? Yes! It's in the first line. Heavenly Father, are you really there? And do you hear and answer every child's prayer? Yeah! This little kid is wondering, Heavenly Father, are you there? Are you hearing me? Have you ever thought that? Have you ever wondered, Heavenly Father, are you hearing my prayers? Are you hearing when I pray to bless the food? Or are you hearing when I pray to help me find something? Or are you hearing me when I pray because I'm scared? Yeah, that's what this little kid is wondering. Heavenly Father, are you really there? I know I've asked that question before. I've felt that. All right, so let's see. What does the kid do next? What does our little friend in the song do next? Think about it. Heavenly Father, I remember now something that Jesus told disciples long ago. Suffer the children to come to me. They remembered something. They remember a story they heard in the scriptures. Ooh, and it's a good story. You heard this story before? So when Jesus was on the earth, I'll tell you the story. I love telling the story. So when Jesus was on the earth, he was real busy. He was real, real busy. Okay, he was blessing people, he was healing people, he was teaching people, he was doing all sorts of stuff. And then one day when he was real busy teaching and helping, a bunch of very faithful moms and dads brought their little children to him. And they said, Jesus, hey, can he bless our children? Now Jesus' apostles, they were like, I don't know, he's really busy. I mean... He hasn't really gotten a lot of sleep and he's got all these people he's got to teach and he's got to help us. I don't know. And Jesus, he overheard that and he said, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, suffer the children to come to me. I want to bless them. So they brought all the children up and Jesus put his hands on each one of them and he blessed them. He wasn't too busy for them. Isn't that a great story? No, it's true for you too. He's not too busy for you. He loves you just as much as he loves all those children he blessed. He wants to bless you too. 
and our little friend in the song, that's what they remembered. <gasps> okay, so now, first they had a question, then they remembered something, and then there's one more thing they did. Can you remember in the first verse? After they remembered their story, suffer the children to come to me. Father, in prayer, I'm coming now to thee. They acted on it. They said, okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna see what happens. Isn't that so cool? Do you know who that makes me think of? Joseph Smith. Isn't that what he did? He had a question. His question was, which church should I join? I don't know. There's a lot of churches. What should I do? And then what did he do? He thought about it and he went to the scriptures and he read, if any of you lack wisdom, ask of God. And what's the third thing he did? He went to a grove of trees and he prayed. And an amazing thing happened, right? You know this story. Heavenly Father and Jesus came to him and they said, you are our son, we love you. And they answered his question. Did you know you could do that too? All right, are you ready for our second verse? Let's move on to the second verse. Now, here's what's so cool about this song. So we get to see how our little friend changes after they pray. We get to see what happens to them. What things do they learn after they say their prayer? So let's do this. We're going to sing the first verse again. And then we're going to move into the second verse. And that's where we get to hear what our little friend has learned. So I want you to listen. Listen to that second verse and see if you can hear what they learned after they prayed. They learned some really cool things. First verse. First we listen. Wait. Breathe. Heavenly Father, are you really there? And do you hear and answer every child's prayer? Some say that heaven is far away. Something that Jesus told disciples long ago. Suffer the children to come to me. Father, in prayer, I'm coming now to thee. Second verse. Pray, he is there. Speak, he is listening. You question. Do you remember? They asked themselves, Heavenly Father, are you really there? And listen to what they learned. Pray, he is there. And then they asked, and do you hear and answer every child's prayer? Now listen to what they learned. Speak, he is listening. Isn't that so cool? They learned the answer to their question. 
but there's more. That's how it works. Whenever we ask our Heavenly Father for help or we ask him a question, oh, he always gives us more. He loves to give us stuff. He loves to do it. We just got to ask. Okay, did you catch what else they learned? Yes, yeah, some of you got it. You are his child, his love now surrounds you. Yeah, you are his child. So am I, I am his child too. And when we pray, when we go to the scriptures, when we try and talk to him, his love surrounds us. Can you feel that? I can feel it right now. I can feel that right now. He loves you so much. He wants you to pray to him. He wants to hear you. And I know that you can do the same thing that our little friend in this song did. If you have a question, which is good, questions are good. If you have a question, you can think about it. You can read the scriptures to help you find answers and then you can pray about it. And then you can hear him and he will give you answers to your prayers and then you will have knowledge. So cool. All right, I wanna sing it one more time. Let's sing it just one more time, just one more time. Okie dokie, all right, one more time. Here we go. Oof. You sing it nice and loud. Let me hear ya. Here we go. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, are you really there? And do you hear and answer every child's prayer? Some say that heaven is far away, but I feel it close around me as I pray. Heavenly Something that Jesus told disciples long ago. Suffer the children to come to me. Father, in prayer I'm coming now to thee. Pray he is there. Speak he is listening. You children of such is the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Do you hear this? The song actually goes on and if you want you can sing it with a friend, or you can sing it with your mom, or your dad, or your brother, or your dog, or your cat, or your fish. No, fish don't sing. Let's be, let's not be ridiculous. Fish are the worst, but your dog would probably join you. You can sing it with them. And what you do is you sing one part and they sing the other part at the same time. It is so cool. I'm gonna put a link at the bottom of this video where you can go to get the music and then you can sing it with your friend or your mom or your dad or your grandma or your dog, but not your fish. We've already talked about this. Fish don't sing. They're the worst. It sounds terrible. Don't sing it with your fish. I love you and I miss you so much. Thank you for singing with me. And I can't wait for you to try out this little experiment in having a question and looking for an answer and saying your prayers and then hearing him. I love you.